what can the PGA Tour actually do outside of conversations to stem the exodus of players leaving for Live Golf? Well, my assumption is a long list of action items were created here yesterday during that players only meeting to be delivered to Jay Monahan. Listen, Jay, this is what we need to improve X, Y, and Z. Number one, Ben, and I think a lot of the journeyman PGA Tour players will agree with me on this, payments for guys who miss the cut. This is ridiculous that you can be a full-time men member and miss the cut and make zero dollars. And a lot of these guys out there, you know, are independent contractors, number one, of course, but also paying out of their own pockets for travel expenses and hotels and what have you. I don't know if I mentioned this on your show, Ben, but I was once at a Travelers Championship and Hudson Swafford was playing and my dad and I were at a Chili's at night after the round was over. Hudson Swafford, too, was at a Chili's, okay? Probably paying out of his own pocket. Hudson Swafford, Ben, is now on the Live Tour getting pampered with money left and right, okay? So, yeah. you know, that's number one. These guys need to be taken care of better. And there are people out there that say, well, you shouldn't be whining about that. You should be grateful. Well, I mean, listen, these guys worked really hard to be top-tier players in the world. I think they should be sort of honored for that and get the same amount of treatment as say an NFL player or an NBA player, right? Where, you know, they're not necessarily independent contractors, but they're not paying out of their pockets for hotels and what have you. So I think that is a key thing for me, Ben, I will die on that hill that that should change on the PGA tour. And then there's some other things too, some nuances to the broadcasting and maybe getting younger and what have you. I don't think the players are bringing that up, but that's something Jay Monahan should discuss.